that folks, I'm Greg Hoff and welcome to Bear Hunting Country. On this short video, you're going to get a look at Stony Brook Outfitters and what they have to offer you, the sportsman, for the world of bear hunting, moose hunting, deer hunting, and bobcat hunting. So come along with me and take a look at Stony Brook Outfitters. Welcome to Stony Brook Outfitters. Your hosts, Bob and Jay Parker, offer you the opportunity for some of the finest bear, deer, moose, and bobcat hunting found in the state of Maine in the United States and an outstanding chance to take a great black bear in the province of New Brunswick, Canada. At Stony Brook Outfitters, big game hunting is their specialty and guiding is their full-time livelihood. But most importantly, outfitting and guiding is more than just a job. It's their passion. Whether you choose to hunt in Maine or New Brunswick, Canada, you can count on enjoying a great hunting experience with Stony Brook Outfitters. You can also expect to have great accommodations, first-rate guides, and outstanding, well-trained bear and bobcat hounds should a dog hunt be on your list of want-to-do hunting adventures. When hunting in Maine, be it for bear, deer, moose, or bobcat, your home away from home and base of operations is Bob and Jay's home and lodge located in Wilton, Maine. Here you will find it to be warm and comfortable with the atmosphere you would expect a great hunting lodge to have. The rooms are set up to accommodate one to six persons and accommodations are available for couples. Comfortable beds and ample bathroom facilities are yours to enjoy. A common great room provides a great place to sit and talk about the day's hunt and enjoy watching a football game or a hunting video on a big screen TV. You can even challenge someone to a game of pool if you enjoy playing. The room also has lots of trophy animal mounts that are examples of what kind of animals you might find in the woods during your hunting adventure. On your New Brunswick Canada bear hunt, fishing trip or vacation, you will enjoy staying in the main lodge which can accommodate groups as large as 12 or in a more rustic cabin for groups of up to six. Whatever accommodations you stay in, you'll have comfortable beds and ample bathrooms and showers. You'll also enjoy your meals and group gatherings in the main lodge. If good home cooking is on your list of hunting lodge requirements, you won't be disappointed. All your meals are home cooked and they're delicious. The only ones going away hungry are those who choose not to eat on deer, moose, and any dog hunts, you'll enjoy breakfast and dinner at the lodge and will have prepared for you to take a field each day. If you're on a stand bear hunt, you'll start your day with breakfast in the lodge, a full big meal around noon, and a light meal upon returning to the lodge after your daily hunt. A high point of your trip will be your welcome dinner of steaks that everyone cooks themselves to their own liking on the outside grill. This gives you a chance to meet the other hunters and share stories to start your hunt off in a most positive way. Depending on the type of hunt that you're going on, you'll meet your guide and be briefed on what you may expect over the course of your hunt. After the first night's dinner, a short talk is given by Bob to discuss the week's activities and go over safety concerns and requirements. After Bob's talk, you'll get your licenses at the lodge and will be informed of any important hunting and fishing regulations that may affect your particular stay. Should you like to check your gun or bow to make sure that the sights have not changed during transit, ranges for both are available to you. Stony Brook Outfitters emphasizes safety at all times and requires safe bow and gun handling. You'll also be required to have your bow or gun cased while traveling to and from your hunting area. Since fishing is available as a primary or a secondary activity with Stony Brook Outfitters, you may want to bring along your fishing rod and try your luck in a nearby lake, pond, or stream for a variety of fish species. If an exciting and rewarding bear, deer, bobcat, moose hunt, or fishing trip is in your future, look no further than Stony Brook Outfitters. They can give you the adventure and hunts you're looking for. Remember, Bob and Jay take their guiding seriously to giving every one of their clients a hunt and vacation of a lifetime, one to enjoy and remember. Their goal is to make your hunting or fishing adventure safe, productive, and memorable. Their hope is to make it the best hunt and vacation you've ever had. Our hope is that you'll come to Stony Brook Outfitters as a client and leave as a friend. Be safe and good hunting.
Now, let's have a look at some of the action you might enjoy on your adventure with Stony Brook Outfitters. Well, you've got ground blinds, you've got tree stands, um, you know, um, you know, you guys been bow hunting the first couple of nights, right. you know, yourself. 285. 285? Alright, let's untwist it. Okay, son, I want you to hear that again. 285. How's that? Yeah, I think over that, that hill there, we're pointing out, yep, on the other side of it now. Red Sun Vista up here. Yep, yep. I just scored. Um, I can hear the death ball. Listen. I can hear the death ball. Pretty sure I got on film. That was nice. He was up on his hindquarters trying to get in the bucket. I took my time. I squeezed. I didn't slap the trigger. I am so pumped. I just shot my first Canadian black bear. Chris, did you what? See anything tonight? Or? Well, I said I had that one come in. I said I got a shot on a bear at about uh, 10 to 7. You did? Yeah. He came in, I said, and uh, I actually got a shot on him as he was kind of up on his hind quarters in yeah. the bucket. Yeah. And uh, I hit him really good. In fact, you did. Uh, did yeah. he go down when you hit him? Well, he kind of, his body went down from, you know, the up, up, upright position straight down to the ground, but he did run off. And uh, not more than a few seconds after that, I said I heard the death moan. You did? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Always, that's yeah. always a good sign when you yeah. hear it. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, maybe Ron's dead. Ron's dead. He was there. He was like a ghost. He was standing there. Who's getting the beat? Who's getting the beat? Now I'm trying to scramble, like, without him seeing me. I had to reach over and I had to, you know, I had to flip the camera on. Yeah. And then, you know, and... He's like walking on the back side tree. Once the camera came on, then I had to reach around, you know, to the little remote control to record. Got that going, then I kind of moved it to get on him. That's when he went up and he got on it, and I said, I'm not waiting until he comes back down. I'm just giving it to him right there. You got it on video? Yeah, I got it on video. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I want to see. I can't. 71. You got to keep going around, break the scales. Scales. 171. Well, if I could hold it for a second. 172. All right. I'll put it in one. One seven one.
Get him treed. Yeah. Paul, why don't you go ahead and load your gun up? Pete, you and I will catch dogs. And Paul, why don't you go right underneath the bottom of the tree? Stand at the bottom of the tree so you can touch the tree. Just stand right there and don't shoot till I tell you to. So how many were seen tonight in your group? We all saw them. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> nice bear. Oh. Something about you annoys those of us who didn't get a bear tonight, you know, but God bless you. We're glad you got one. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We got the rest of the pizza. That's for sure. Get a little fishing in now. Ah, uh, great. There's plenty of bears out there. You've seen one tonight, too. It's infested. I've seen seven riding rows. All right, Greg, let's, we'll go and we'll check this bait site right here. We've got about 100 baits out. I checked them all. Well, we checked a bunch of them there Friday. Um, like I said, we're baiting about 100 bait sites. Um, you know, we bait these baits. We don't get a bear in the first two days. We'll move the guys to another spot. You know, we've got multiple bait sites, so there's no need to keep them on the sites more than two days. If they don't get a bear in two days, I know something's up, we'll move them. Now, let's take a look at some of Stony Brook Outfitters' past client trophy photos and hear a few words about the experiences of some people who have hunted with them. This is my second trip up to Stony Brook. They're fantastic. I killed a bear every time I was here. And last night I got a nice cinnamon. He's a beauty. They're on the small side, but he's a cinnamon and they don't see that around here. Come on up and join us anytime, you guys. We're having a fantastic time.
finally hunting here in Stony Brook Outfitters. I couldn't give you an intro because uh, we just got in, we had to hang the stand up. So we tried to get up as quick as possible and as quick as I could. But uh, I've been hunting all week hard. This is my third spot that they moved me on. The guides really work hard here at Stony Brook Outfitters to put you on a bear. Um, and I've been in the stand, I'm just looking at what time it is, no more than an, an hour and a half, two hours. And sure enough, as you saw, he kind of came in, watched him for a while, and then I I decided, you know, it, it was time to uh, time to take him, but made a good shot. I've, I assume you heard the, um, the, the moan, the death moan, which is definitely uh, an interesting sound to say the least. But I uh, couldn't be happier. Was able to uh, make a good shot with my bow. Um, I'm gonna probably wait a little bit, sneak down, um, meet the outfitter, and then see if I can, uh, if we can go uh, go recover. Six o'clock now. He usually does a check at about um, seven o'clock. So we're gonna see if we can catch him. But uh, again, I'm ecstatic. Made a good shot. Heard a death moan. So I don't think we'll have a trouble finding him. But uh, again. Rather get the guide, not go poking around, get the stand out, get out quietly, and, and uh, we'll see what happens. My first black bear. Well, congratulations, man. <laughs> now the work begins now. Awesome. Our guide is going right. to put him on his back and Oh, no, he's out. not. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell, thank you very much. Thank you so much for uh, putting me in a great area. I knew it was going to pay off sooner or later. Hey, Mitchell, just hold that on me for a second. Uh, no, look, look yep. just over here. Yep. Look in it. Yep. Just hold it steady. Oh. Oops. I'm going to break this. Oh, well, folks, I got to tell you. I talk Rich into coming up on this hunt. It didn't take a lot of talking for him to come on up on uh, I'm pretty easy convinced to go on a but hunting trip. It's I, uh... I told him I wanted him to come, <laughs> and I was hoping, you know, I've been fortunate enough to have seven bears so far, and uh, if I get one, it's all great. But, you know, when you bring somebody up like Rich, oh, who's never had a bear, and he's is... hunted all kinds of animals, but never a bear, this it is... makes it worthwhile. And let me tell you, uh, Stony Brook Outfitters, it is exciting. I mean, first day, this is our second night here. Second night. First day, there were 10 different bears uh, sighted. sighted. You know, uh, we Wait. had one was harvested, and now we got a second one that we know of. Uh, there's probably, hopefully, some more tonight. Right. But I mean, um, 
I tell you, Bob and the guys up here at Stony Brook, Excellent. they do an outstanding job. Excellent. Would you come back to Stony Brook again? I, I'm, I'm putting a deposit down right now to the guide Mitchell here. I'm gonna say. <laughs> and Mitchell, you can't get away and, from us. Uh, you're our guide. You're guiding me <laughs> next year also. I guarantee you that right now. Well, let's get them out of here. All right. Good right. job. Thank Good you, Greg. Job. Thank you, Mitchell. Thank you, Stony Brook. Excellent hunt. Got the blood pumping, the adrenaline going, and I finally got my first bear. Yeah, that's cool. It's a great place to come and hunt bear. I mean, it's fantastic. I've been seeing bear just about every night I sat. Got this one finally come in. It was beautiful. Just great night, great location. Then, you know what? There's other stuff to watch too, not just the bear, but the ravens and all kinds of interesting stuff in the woods. It's an absolute blast here. And, uh, you know, this is what I ended up with, so I'm happy. I got me a rug. Okay. I think everybody who wants to look hunt bear should come up here. They'll have an absolute blast. It's a great place to do it. And, uh, it's just, I can't think of any other place I'd want to go. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm from Greensburg, Pennsylvania. This is my first trip up to Stony Brook Outfitters, and I was fortunate enough to get a bear on the first night. The combination has been great. The cabins are real nice and clean. Food's wonderful, and the atmosphere is just great. I'd highly recommend that Stony Brook Outfitters to all my friends and family. It's a wonderful experience up here.